I invite you to join me as I introduce you to one of my great loves, the magnificent source energy field, the Akasha. Ever since the first time I walked up to its gates, I have felt enamored with the mysteries of what it really is and how we are all part of it. For a long time, I wondered how I could get past its guards and reach the other side of the beautiful gilded gates. With much persistence and intuitive guidance, I found a way to go beyond the gates and enter the Akasha. Ever since, it's been the ride of my life to discover, learn, heal, and grow. And now it is your turn. I first stumbled into the Akasha as an intuitive energy healer in the 1990s. I had studied psychic energy healing with a knowledgeable and trusted instructor for more than six years. As I performed a healing for someone, she would tell me to go up to the gates of the person's Akashic record, to ask their record keeper for Akashic energy, to fill them up after the clearing they had received from me. But, my teacher would admonish, you can only go to the gates. You are not allowed inside. When I stood there at the gate, asking the Akashic beings of light to fill my client up, I witnessed new energy flowing into my client's crown chakra and filling their body. It was a magnificent, sparkling, fluid light. I knew the energy entering them held higher wisdom, even though I wasn't sure what that wisdom was. One day, I heard a deep voice telling me about my client's soul path and how their past lives were impacting the present circumstances and creating their challenges. The first time it happened, it wowed me. These beings showed me the great expanse of the client's life as their soul plan unfolded. I saw a 2,000-year timeline of who they had been and why they wished to be here on Earth at this time. This was a different level of information than I had ever accessed as an intuitive healer. But where did this wisdom come from? In the 90s, no one was talking about the Akasha or accessing the Akashic records. On rare occasions, expansive information would come through while I was working with clients, but I couldn't predict when it would happen. It never occurred to me that it came from the Akasha, because my teacher had said the records were off-limits to us. I had no knowledge of how to get there on my own. Years later, after a few spontaneous connections and many hit-or-miss attempts to consciously access the records, I finally found a simple way to open the gates and move into the Akasha. The impact of access to these profound records changed the trajectory of my life. It put me on a clear path of transformation that continues to guide me to this day.